They're shutting down Clash Mini. It's been two years. And this is the official message. Dear Clash Mini players, ever since the launch of Clash Mini into its beta, we've strived for one simple thing, and that's to make the best game in the world. Our dream is to create games that as many people as possible play for years and that are remembered forever. Today, we made the decision to end the development of Clash Mini, which was a good game, but not the game that ultimately would fill our dream. I think they need to consider player retention, monetization, replayability for a long time. The synergies were off to a good direction too. The past few updates of Clash Mini have shown significant improvements thanks to all the possible fronts that we cared about, but our quality bar just wasn't met after all these improvements. Specifically in the last few updates, we've seen a peak interest from both our creator program and the community on Reddit and Discord to provide constructive feedback as to how the game could be improved, and we spent a lot of time trying to fit all of that into a game. We also created incredible content with all of you from very fun creator-made mini minutes to stage channels on Discord and incredibly creative mini Mondays that highlighted your true love for the game. And for that, that, we could not be more thankful. It was a blast working alongside you. The community cared so much about seeing our mini game grow up. We can still see very high potential and love for the game within Supercell and our community. That in mind, we have decided to commit to bringing the Clash Mini experience to Clash Royale to reach its fullest potential. Does that mean that there's going to be like a touchdown mode, but for Clash Mini and Clash Royale? And to build Clash Mini on a decade old engine might be a little hard for them. And then they're going on to say, by doing this, we can better serve many more players in fulfilling our ultimate goal and vision. Once we have concrete updates on the next step of this development, we intend to share them with you as soon as possible. Clash Mini inside Clash Royale, that's crazy ambitious. Is that doable? Is that the new Clone Wars 3? Over the next coming weeks, here's what you can expect to happen with Clash Mini. You can transfer your in-game purchases. If you've made any purchases in Clash Mini and you play any other Supercell game, you can contact player support to transfer those gems. So if you bought gems with real money, you can transfer those gems to Clash Clans, Clash Royale, Heyday, Boom Beach, or Brawl Stars. But you gotta ensure that your Supercell IDs connect to both Clash Mini and the other game before initiating the transfer. In-game purchases will be disabled. A pop-up message will appear in the game that the servers will shut down in six weeks in late April to give ample time for players to transfer their purchases. After those six weeks, the games will be delisted to prevent new downloads. And then they went on to say, we are proud of what we built with you and cannot be happier with the community and we have created around this game. Your love for the game has something that has been driving us from day one until today. Now it's time to pack our collection of minis and stow away the battle boards until the next rumble begins in the arena. They're actually going to try and bring Clash Mini to Clash Royale. That's insane. Do you hear Clash Mini's getting killed? I did. How do you feel about it? Because uh, when's the last time you played? It's been like a year and a half, man. You haven't played Synergies, and you haven't played with the $400 battle machine. No, but I watched your videos, and I was like, dude, that's a, that's a lot of money to spend for one thing. But to be fair, there were no levels anymore. It's like if you got a level 11 buzz with hypercharge, star power, and gadget all at once. Could you get it free to play, or is it really hard? Yeah, that was like a 1% chance. Was it like the free to play experience is not good? Free to play, I think, was comfortable. I have a friend that played Clash Mini, and it wasn't that bad. It did take him a while, and he didn't get the battle machine, but the battle machine wasn't meta anymore, so it wasn't... Oh, it didn't even matter. No. Why did he stop playing it? For me, it just got like more of the same thing. Like there just wasn't enough depth? Because I'll say this, the reason why I stopped playing it, because I honestly thought it was going to get killed. There's not enough, like you would want to come back and play a lot. Like Core Loop, I didn't really enjoy it after playing it for like a year and a half. I was like, okay, this is it. Did you like the changes? Was it enough, you think, in your opinion? Every time there was an update, I loved the game for a month, and then I kind of got bored of it. You didn't get to play the last update where they had synergies. Like you put down four undead and then all the undead get a slight buff. That was kind of interesting because it gave more depth to it. Did you think it was going to go global? Or did you think it was going to get killed? I was so 50-50 on it. Because I was like, I like this game a lot, but I'm also not playing it. I'm so torn because the latest update I actually thought was what was going to carry it. Because oh, like the synergy yeah. started making sense. I don't know how I felt about the $400 skins. That could always change though. Like if the core loop was good. It was really polarizing because all the people that have been playing for two years, there's a segregated community of new players that they need to retain for over a month and then there's the players that they needed to please for over two years that really insisted on balance changes new minis and all these things but as a day one player i'm like what is the 70th mini i don't get it like it doesn't help with retention of the new players and without retention of these players the game's not going to survive i agree on that in the last update they released all these new minis and everything which was cool for me to see but i imagine if i let my girlfriend play she'd be overwhelmed with like 70 minis that's how many they ended up with? Okay. 
Jeez, dude, that's crazy. Don't quote me on this. That being said, with all the minis, it's not like you got them all at once. Like, it did happen with progression over time, so you weren't overwhelmed with it. It did give it more depth. Yeah, just focus more on making the core interesting aside from just new content for like the existing players already. They did. With uh, synergies, uh, you can move troops. You could move your hero once, which is really cool. It simplified it, but it also gave it depth of guessing. And you'd have to like guess, oh, he's going to put this there and there. So I got to put my bowler here and then got to counter with the hog rider. What, what was the board? Four by five? Was it too small? I think it was too small. Too small. Five by eight, was it? Five by eight. Look, Kyros is so oh, sad. <laughs> Kyros likes the game plan. That was what really turned me off. I think they fixed it, but basically when I logged in to a new update and all of my things were set back to zero and I had to get them back or choose like a box to open. That was really frustrating, but they did fix that. Did I read that right? Are, are they porting it to Royale? Oh yeah. I wasn't sure. Zio, what are you I thought that was a comprehension and Comprehension issue. Is this gonna be like a mini game in Clash Royale? Is it gonna be like touchdown? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> if you were a Clash mini YouTuber, would you cover that inside Clash Royale? Kind of, and I, well, my, my strategy would be like, okay, Clash mini is going into Clash Royale, but like, I'd be like, okay, I need to start with Clash mini and slowly integrate into Clash Royale now so my channel doesn't die. Yeah, I feel like that is the strategy too. I would slowly do Clash mini, and then if it makes sense, start covering like evolutions and stuff like that. Cause it's part of the, cycle. Do you think it's gonna be permanent though or is this gonna be like a mini mode? Oh, I think it's gonna be permanent if they divert this, but it's too early to say if this is even possible. They just speculated that they're gonna look at it, but who knows, maybe they'll look at it and like, okay, this just really doesn't make sense. It's not fun to port it this way. Well, maybe auto chest is just not popular anymore. Teamfight Taxes is still popping off. Is it really? Yeah. Clash, Clash Mini was my favorite auto battle. I'm just depressed over here. <laughs> it was out for too long, I think.